Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Here, the former Archbishop of Canterbury, George Carey, has admitted the Church of England failed the young men who were abused by disgraced Bishop Peter Ball, admitting there had not been proper safeguards in place. Lord Carey told the Independent Inquiry into Child Sexual Abuse that child protection had not been an issue at the forefront of the Church when he'd been in charge. Ed Hauker reports. Today, the Child Abuse Inquiry took evidence from the most senior figure to appear there so far. Lord Carey, the former Archbishop of Canterbury, asked to explain his role in what some called an establishment cover-up when one of its most senior bishops, Peter Ball, was accused of abuse against teenagers and men in the 1990s. At the time, a police investigation ended with him cautioned, and it took until 2015 for Peter Ball to be convicted of offences against 18 people. Well, I'm always very, very, very sorry. Today's inquiry was about the 1990s and whether the Church of England had taken allegations of abuse sufficiently seriously at the time. Lord Carey certainly gave extraordinary evidence about the failure of a church investigation that fizzled out, about evidence that victims and the parents of victims who contacted Lambeth Palace were fobbed off and information not passed to police. It was, he said, a pathetic situation and one over which he presided. The Archbishop wrote this letter to Peter Ball's Gloucester parishioners in 1993. It says, We hope and pray that the investigation will clear his name and that he will be restored to his great work of Christian ministry. That message delivered even after victims had written to the Archbishop personally with their stories. We mishandled this. That's very clear. Um, we've been fobbing people off. They should have had direct replies. We should have carried on our inquiry and dealt with it in a more serious and adult manner than we did. Ball returned to church work from 1995. It was completely unacceptable that Peter Ball should have returned to ministry. Obviously, he had been cautioned for one offence, but the point is that Lambeth Palace were aware of a very significant amount of other information pointing to the fact that he was a serial sex offender. The inquiry continues its investigation into sexual abuse in the Anglican Church tomorrow. Ed Halker there.